Good morning. We welcome you on this Monday morning. Good morning, with Brian and Tyler. And today we are in Exodus chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Tyler. Now there, are, these are the names of the children of Israel who came to Egypt. Each man in his household came with Jacob. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All those who were descendants of Jacob were 70 persons, for Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died, all his brothers, and all that governed that generation but the children of israel were fruitful and increased abundantly multiplied and grew exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them now there was there arose a new king over egypt who did not know joseph all right so of children and grandchildren when they entered the land 70 people mm -hmm. okay um that doesn't count joseph and his boys they were already there beforehand mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> when you look at the numbers and I've run the numbers before, if you just double 70 becomes 140 in 20 years. So there's 20 sets of doubling. Okay. 140 becomes 280. So Now we'll make our math easy. We'll knock 30 off of it. We'll make it 250. 250 becomes 500. Right. So that's, that's our See, so 70 to 140 to five. So we're on our third, right? 500 becomes a thousand, a thousand becomes 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, 16,000, 32,000, 64,000, 128,000. Now we're going to knock it off again, make it easy. 125,000 becomes 250, 250 becomes five. five. Five becomes a million. Okay. A million becomes two. Two becomes four. We've still got four doublings left. So when you read the numbers of the Exodus, don't ever look at me and say, oh, no, that's not, that's not believable. That was 70. We left off Joseph and his kids from that mathematics. Okay. So when it says that the children of Israel grew and became mightier than the Egyptians, the Egyptians practiced very controlled uh, childbirth and breeding, bloodline management, everything else. Um, the Israelites, they worked and lived in the land of Goshen. They served as a buffer for the benefit of Egypt. The Egyptians left them alone for a while Boom, all of a sudden, here they are. Now they're this big people spread out over the whole region. Um, so, 500 years, basically, have passed from when God told Abraham, I will make of you a mighty nation. This is where he did it. Don't lose sight that them being slaves in Egypt. Now, it was really probably the last hundred years of their time in Egypt that were really hard because of this one phrase. There arose what? Man who did not know Joseph. Yeah, there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. So it's, it's and I, I say a hundred years, from the birth of Moses to the Exodus is 80 years. So there's about a 10 or 15 year period probably before Moses' uh, birth where they amp up the labor. The year of Moses' birth, they start a government program of abortion. Oh, don't lose sight. If your government endorses abortion, your government is on the side of Satan. Oh, did you just say, yeah, I did. Abortion is from the pit of hell. It's from Satan. And people who endorse it are on the side of Satan whether they realize it or not. Okay? The children of God were persecuted. And the government did it through the means of abortion, enforced abortion. Okay? And uh, so that last hundred years... 
What makes the change? There arose someone who did not know Joseph. Governments change, the promise of God doesn't. It's one of the things you learn right here from these first eight verses. Governments change, the promise of God doesn't. But sometimes when those governments change, they become hostile to the word of God, to the promise of God, to the people of God. And they will push any kind of agenda. The challenge is when you're living in that system that's no longer favorable to God and his word, where are you going to fall? And we'll, we'll look tomorrow at the faith of some people that they could teach a lesson to all of us about faith and resisting government. So, uh, but God kept his word. He grew him into a mighty nation. He used the military power of Egypt to protect those 70 people till they grew and became mighty. And he used the economic system to set up so that the riches of the wicked could be transferred to his people. So that when we come back to that one somewhere in Proverbs. So, you know, other thoughts, my brother? Yes, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good day.